hello everyone this is another section analysis tutorial in the previous tutorial we have learned how to uh, analyze and also model different section in the section analysis design software in this tutorial we will consider a CFD con columns which is concrete fillet tube column which mostly used in the high-rise building and it's quite effective elements for high-rise building structures now as example we will model a circle shape tube which has a 60 centimeters diameter and now we will reduce one centimeters for the steel steel plates or steel uh, shell elements so then we will take the second part is concrete for 59 centimeters so we use this concrete as a confinement area and the second we will use steel S355 so we jump to the software here is a software in the software you can uh, quickly model such elements by using circles so we have two kinds one is called using giving two point and a second is giving center and also diameter so we're using this one quite simple and I click here and the first one is diameter uh, center point and I click this one and the center point is detected here so the second one is then give the diameter so the diameter is already 60 centimeters and the material you can actually add the materials now which is all default material and also you can modify this later so we will do it later now we considering 60 centimeters and we okay okay and the second one is again we go there and zero zero and this one is 59 so okay now we created two uh, circles but same materials so I uh, before that I came to the materials here and in the materials or you can come here and you can go to the import from library or you can come any of these such as concrete or linear by linear and then you can edit manually those materials so this time I will use import from library which is uh, quite uh, simple and also those available code as you can see there and when you come to here and here is when you open you see the more difference uh, code uh, which is related to your region and now I will use European code with ordering you can considering ordering and also uh, not ordering and just uh, I will use ordering when you come here and you see this still material is available so I will use this still and I call uh, selected call insert the selected to my uh, defined material library and the second I go back here and uh, go to the input library and this time I use the concrete so the concrete is not here but I can uh, come to the concrete uh, here and select from library here the concrete and using European code and I can select uh, 30 35 so in there selected so the selected concrete is available now I select the uh, model and call properties which is the inside circle so the inside circle I want to change that material to C30 and OK and the color is changed the second one I'm gonna select the steel plates pause and select here and using the steel 355 now OK and also you can uh, see and bring some change in case if you want so you can bring some changes in the material that you define such as the modulus elastic in case if the other uh, parameters so we will select as a symmetry in the compressive area and the tension area so I'm gonna okay now the material and also the modeling is completed 
we go through to the analysis part and we want to calculate the parameters. So the parameters will give us, uh, we define some um, analysis parameters such as uh, limit states and also ultimate states, serviceability limit state. You can change this parameter as well, but it's default, we keep default. And the second, we go to the inertia data and the analysis. So after you finished, we can go to the show the result. And you can see the cross-section properties of this, this member. You can see the area, inertia moments, about Y, X, and the section modulus, a top, bottom, everything. This is the first part. The second part is we go uh, through to the uh, moment curvature, which is our main part. In the moment curvature, we add, so it's a circle in any direction, Y, Z, and a, a Y is same. So you can consider the moment curvature in Y, Z, same. And in the analysis parameter, you can use serviceable limit state or ultimate limit states. And some other option is available in case you want using uh, alternative actual force procedure and they give the, uh, the force, then the program will uh, uh, iterate and see whatever that uh, 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 this column or this section has capacity of such uh, actual force or not. So we uh, not considering this one, we automatically determine the capacity of this structure based on these uh, moments. And okay. And we want to analyze that section. So enforcement has been not been set because it's concrete. So we not need to so recall yes. We want to like to consider without the concrete. So now it's completed. And we go back to here and go show results. So now here is the moment curvature of this uh, uh, section. So you can see this is the yield moment. And it has about a capacity of almost 500 uh, kilonewtons times meters. And also the curvatures. Uh, this gives us uh, actually that, that, the, that the column has such capacity in the moment and also in the curvature. Now we also can see this um, stress strain distribution across the uh, structure. And you can see here, the top is compressive, minus, negative, and the bottom is positive in the tension. And this is the force which is distributed in the top in tension, in the compression, in the tension. And we, after this finished the, the analysis, we can actually export the current graph data to the Excel. You can save it as a uh, as a text file, as you wish, and then give it, put it in the other Excel sheet, and then you can label it. So let me do these things, make it some uh, more. Let me put it somewhere. I'm gonna go to here. Let's see. Uh, I created one, uh, actually one uh, folder, and I'm gonna give. Uh, uh, moment curvature. So I'm gonna save it, a text file, and then so now here is the the data which we taking, and this is the curvature, moment curvature, and I'm gonna select all, and copy, and I can create an uh, Excel file, and I can. Uh, directly paste it called use uh, text wizard sorry use text wizard because to uh, create columns and use next finish and this is it so I can automatically assign a curve and you can see the curve is similar to the uh, similar this curve is similar to the here and then you can uh, manipulate and also add some axes, some everything, and then draw this for your work and research. So the, 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 this thing is not difficult, and so they can bring out some elements as you wish, and you 
change the size and also define access as well so this was another part of this uh, software that can uh, help you to get this curve outside of this picture and uh, the next after you determine then you can apply the deform uh, deformation analysis with the directly linked to the analysis so here we need the action force moving in y in this direction in y, di y direction z direction so after you giving the load and uh, selecting some analysis parameters such as service limit states or ultimate limit states so then the, the program will design this uh, this column for you so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time